The late Virgil Abloh was one of those creative visionaries who helped change the landscape of fashion forever. Because of him, collaborations between streetwear brands and luxury fashion labels have never been more prominent than in today's culture. With that in mind, it must be said that no sneaker collaboration was as fiercely anticipated as Abloh's Louis Vuitton x Nike Air Force Ones. So in this episode of the sneaker series Origins, we will be talking about the Nike x Louis Vuitton Monogram Air Force Ones. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Designed in 1982 by Bruce Kilgore, the Nike Air Force Ones is one of the most successful shoes ever created. The silhouette's cultural significance was immortalized in 1988 when DJ Easy Rock appeared on the cover of the album It Takes Two Sporting Custom Air Force Ones. The shoes, altered by the legendary Harlem designer Dapper Dan, featured a swoosh adorned in the Louis Vuitton monogram pattern, an embodiment of refashion, the practice of hacking together high fashion and sportswear brands with equal reverence. In March of 2018, Louis Vuitton named visionary off-white designer Virgil Abloh as its new men's artistic director. The Louis Vuitton x Nike Air Force Ones first previewed in the summer of 2021 on the Mason Spring and Summer 2022 runway. Men's artistic director Virgil Abloh designed 47 bespoke pairs of LV Air Force Ones for the collection. Fusing the trainer's classic codes with the insignia and materials of Louis Vuitton, Abloh's Nike x Louis Vuitton sneakers seamlessly connected the rich histories of both iconic brands. Every pair of Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones was made by Louis Vuitton in Fiesso de Artico, marking the first time in the Air Force Ones 40-year history that the model was crafted outside of a Nike factory. All 47 of the Virgil Abloh Air Force One styles featured materials employed in his Louis Vuitton men's collections and were styled with his signature quotation marks. The Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones represent the last sneaker designs of the late Virgil Abloh's storied career. The collaboration fuses Louis Vuitton codes and craftsmanship with the signature motifs of Abloh and, of course, Nike's own distinct design. There's a classic white pair of Air Force Ones crafted from calf leather and embossed with the Louis Vuitton monogram, whereas an inversion of the style is available in black suit. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now let's get back to our topic. Another is swathed in Abloh's visual language and colorful patchwork detailing. A handful of two-tone editions will make an appearance coming in white splash with either blue, red, or green in an eclectic mixture of colors Louis Vuitton is known for. Meanwhile, a metallic gold set acts as the showstopper, harking back to Abloh's first collection for Louis Vuitton, one for those who enjoy adding an element of opulence to their shoe collections. To cap it all off, there's a pair coated in the Damier print and splashed with graffiti dreamt up by the artist, Gusto Leon. The pilot case features Louis Vuitton's classic S-lock closure in a white metal finish and adapts to every shoe size based on an internal cushion system. Further nodding to a historic Louis Vuitton x Nike collab, the case includes a luggage tag in the shape of the Nike swoosh. The Louis Vuitton Nike Air Force One auction was an unqualified success, with most pairs selling for more than $100,000 to raise a total of $25.3 million. Louis Vuitton's proceeds were donated to the Virgil Abloh Postmodern Scholarship Fund, which Abloh launched in July of 2020. The fund is dedicated to fostering equity and inclusion in the fashion industry by providing scholarships and mentoring to students of Black, African American, or African descent and represents an enduring piece of Abloh's legacy. It's completely not a shoe, it's an art object. It doesn't even need to be on someone's feet. Ablo told the FT, Anders Christian Madsen, It distills everything I'm saying into an object. The Air Force One is a basketball shoe. But through hip-hop culture, it has energized a representative sculpture. It means a lot of very specific people. The most valuable charitable sale at South Buys in nearly a decade, collectors from Asia comprised 40% of the buyers, but bidding was amalgamated across 50 countries. This was an auction that attracted a younger clientele, with more than two-thirds of all bidders under 40 and more than half of all buyers under 40. 
A significant majority of bidders and buyers participated in a South by sale for the first time, with more than 75% of buyers new to the auction house. Collectors competed for rare sizes. Lot 1, size 5, led the auction, achieving 352,800. Size 9 achieved the highest total value by size, totaling 3.4 million across 26 lots, and the most competition was for a size 8 with a total of more than 1,400 bids. We are thrilled that the record-breaking fundraising auction for Virgil Abloh's Postmodern Scholarship Fund has generated such exceptional results. We are proud that thousands of students will be able to benefit from the proceeds, allowing us to continue to uphold Virgil's mission to inspire and support future generations, said Michael Burke, chairman and CEO of Louis Vuitton of the record-breaking charity sale. The general release drips in Virgil Abloh's unique style as much as the exclusives, featuring nine styles in gold, silver, damier, monochrome, and two-tone. These Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones throw back to the silhouette's original popularity in the collegiate basketball and hip-hop scenes, without betraying the postmodern irony that encompasses his body of work. In total, 21 retail release styles are expected. When 9 revealed, the remaining 12 shoes are hotly anticipated, but the next drop remains, as yet undisclosed. Meanwhile, Abloh's penchant for a bold color is on vivid display in a trio of two-tone Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones, featuring bases of white monogram, embossed calf leather accented with either green, red, or blue monogram leather overlays. These collegiate-inspired Nike X Louis Vuitton sneakers throw it back to the shoe's original popularity among NCAA teams and fans. The cup sole Air logo and lace branding appear in quotes, an example of the tongue-in-cheek postmodernism that defined Abloh's original Nike X off-white collabs. The drop also featured two Louis Vuitton X Nike Air Force One sneakers in eye-catching metallics. One with a silver metalized canvas toe and multicolored panels of monogram embossed suede, the other dressed entirely in dazzling gold monogram embossed metalized canvas. Last year, an installation opened at the Greenpoint Terminal Warehouse in Brooklyn to showcase 47 iterations of Abloh's Air Force One, his signature quotation marks outlasting his institutional cosigns that made them necessary in the first place. The exhibit features 3D holograms of the shoe next to the real ones on display, often plastered to the side of a wall, as if in motion. Abloh's isms, are you a tourist or a purist? Who did it first? Where did they get the idea? Is it new? Are on display in the blue sky and cloud-swathed gallery space. Despite selling out within minutes, a number of new sneakers have just been listed for an online exclusive release in the coming months. While little is known about when they'll drop, you can expect that they'll fly or else crash the LV site. At the back of the exhibition hall is a humongous mossy treehouse. Its facade printed in LV's monogram and its life-size tree trunk painted in Nike X Off-White University blue. It is also surrounded by a Vuitton monogram chain-link fence. The inside channels Abloh's Rue de Pont Neuf Atelier in Paris, equipped with a monogram turntable spinning, among other songs, Wu Tang's Cream, and a cork mood board of Ephemera behind the collaboration. There is a display case of more Air Force Ones, each wilder than the last, a pair in candy color patent leather, another covered in shaggy raver fur. Additionally, supporting the show are several globes placed around the city in places such as Brooklyn's Domino Park, Grand Central Station, and Columbus Circle, symbolizing Abloh's desire to connect and unify people. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you liked the video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.